Oh my god, I did it. I made a video. Now you guys finally have a reason to be subscribed and watch my videos, I guess. And before any of you dares to comment on the bad audio, I am aware, thank you. And also my accent is really weird because I'm literally Norwegian. Um, anyways, let's get into it. So this is the first part of a series where I'm building a modern BNM Hyper in No Limits. In this video you will see me building the first half of the layout by hand. That means I will not be using any FVD devices or anything else to build the layout. Normally I use the in-game FVD device, but in this series I will only be placing the vertices by hand. On the screen now you can see me building the station and the turn into the lift tool. I know many BNMs has this kind of turn out of the station, but I was most inspired by the one on Nitro at Six Flags Great Adventure. The reason I wanted to do this series is because I was inspired by Variable and TJP coasters. If you don't know who they are, they are two great Planet Coaster YouTubers. I mean, Variable doesn't do Planet Coaster anymore, but TJP coasters definitely do, so you should definitely sub to him if you like that game. So what DJB Coasters does is he makes these really cool building videos in Planet Coaster and I felt really inspired and wanted to do the same in No Limits. So here I'm actually making a video. I really deserve an award. <coughs> and if I have the motivation I'll also start uh, making Planet Coaster videos. Because I got my new PC so I can actually handle the game now. Or I mean my PC can't, but that's not the point. Um, anyway, it's time to make a sexy BNM drop. So the drop is inspired by Orion at King's Islands and Goliath at Six Flags over Georgia. I know Goliath ain't a really new and modern ride, but it looks like a really good hyper. And since this ride has almost the same height as Goliath, I chose to use Goliath as an inspiration. During the process I came back to the drop multiple times because I weren't satisfied with the shaping. So next we have a big typical BNM floater airtime hill with its iconic triangle kind of shape. When I make the layout I usually go through it a couple times and smooth it by hand before I depump it and that way I get a better result. I've seen a lot of users that doesn't use too many vertices to make it smoother and I used to do that until I saw a video of a guy who did the same thing and then depumped it and then added new vertices in between each vertices and by that almost making it as smooth as FVD and this has worked really well for me too so that's what I'm doing now. Since I'm just smoothing up the first elements now I'm gonna talk about what I wanna do with this channel in the future. So first of all, I don't have any real plans on what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna finish this series and I will probably start posting some Planet Coaster content if I have the motivation as said before. I don't really know what I will be making in Planet Coaster though, so if you're interested it would really help if you could leave some suggestions in the comments. I have been working on a Danish inspired theme park that I could upload if you all really wanted to, but I haven't done much in it now because I have currently lost the motivation and I don't know what to do with it. So if uh, some of you actually watch this video and actually want me to build that, then yeah, I could probably do it. If it's two suggestions on what I could make, then that would also be very much appreciated, thanks. Here you can see me making that hump on the crest of the drop, like the ones you can see on Orion at King's Island and probably some other hypers or giga coasters. I don't really know why they have them, but I just included it for realism's sake. The footage was sped up quite a bit, so I actually spent like 4 hours making this whole ride. The editing was also quite delayed because I had other things to do and I had to do them before I could do the editing, so enough dumb excuses, let's get on with the video. I haven't seen many of these voiceover No Limits videos where the creators just build their coasters and talk about stuff, so that's a thing I would really like to see in other channels. Because there are so many No Limits videos but none of them publish any... any videos where they actually make the coasters. So if I actually manage to inspire someone that would be great. 
Anyways, if you could see me there adding an extra car to the train, you were completely right. And it's gonna be an, a 9 car train, just like the one on Silver Star and Goliath. And yeah, I do know that every new coaster that BNM have made only features 8 trains, but... 8 trains, but... I mean, capacity and airtime would be so much better if we had one more train on them, so... I just decided to do that, I mean... So we don't mention that to the pros now, do we? Here we can just see me widening the crest of the drop because it was way too sharp. And that would just not be realistic. This drop took so long to actually find the good shaping that I was satisfied with, but I did manage it in the end. But it took quite a while, and you'll see it here in the video, because I had to go over it quite a lot of times to make it right. Since this part is just me uh, fixing the layout and doing minor changes to everything I've made, I'm just gonna skip to when we're making the next elements. So the next element will be a backwards uh, treble clef inspired turnaround, sort of like the one on Orion, but will feature more sideways floater airtime, like a wave turn. I ended up really happy with the element, and it would be really cool to see BNM do something similar in the future. After this turnaround, I added a fast-paced, uh, low to the ground overbank, uh, leading into a another floater airtime hill which will be the last element in this video. I know I'm not gonna getting finished with the layout in this video although I will spread it over more series and hopefully get done in like the next video with the layout and then begin with supports and theming and um, with theming I basically just mean th trees and rocks because I'm not gonna try to <laughs> make any buildings I really don't know how. Since the rest of the video is quite self-explanatory, I'm just gonna leave you guys with some music and you can just skip to the end if you don't want to watch the whole thing and watch the POV as I've included it in the end, so there at least is something interesting with this video. And also bear in mind that the overbank is quite rough, but I will fix it in the next video. Bye!